you spend so much time there that it's bound to hold a special place in your heart. It's where most of my memories of my life have been. It's a classic football stadium. It's a bright bold kind of colour scheme for a club and it certainly makes you stick out amongst the usual kind of colours within Scotland. Red and yellow, it just has connotations of happiness. There's an excitement walking up to the ground because all you can see in the street is the lights from the ground. There's something sort of surreal about it. Quite enjoy the main stand. It's kind of really old school and they've got characters. Uh, the seats are a little bit different, the creek when you put them down, and uh, I, I think it kind of just brings back memories of kind of days gone by. I would say most of the noise would come from the John Lambie stand. That's where all the flags are hung and that's where all the, the songs are started. Don't think you speak to someone from Mary Hill and they don't have a story involved with it. The area itself isn't the most affluent, but Fur Hill is so special. It kind of brings everyone together. You'll be sitting beside someone for 10 years and you don't know anything about them except that they're there every Saturday just along from you. When a goal goes in, or you lose or you win, they're, they're feeling exactly the same way. I was a ball boy for about five or six seasons as well, which kind of gave you a different viewpoint of how you'd be able to hear and see things first. So a ball could hit the woodwork, you can see that and hear that so clearly, and then there's that couple of second delay, and then you get that, ooh, from the crowd. There's a lot of good memories uh, watching games at Firhill. Favourite memory would be Thistle had just won the first division and we were getting the trophy and my dad turned around and said to me, what are we doing, Kim? Don't you dare go on this pitch. Before I know it, the full time whistle's gone, I'm running down the stairs. My dad's overtaking me on the stairs, the two of us are on the pitch. Hello is we get relegated against Air United in kind of the last game of the season. You're just kind of standing going, oh, it's actually happened to me, I've been relegated. It was absolutely gun. I just remember going home and telling my mum I was never going back and that was me. And of course, when the next season I was, I was back again, I just couldn't stay away. It's something so familiar. Oh, you know who you're going to see and you know what you're going to get from it. It's one constant. You move houses quite a lot and you move other jobs and move everything else, but that one thing is always your football team. And I met my wife at Fur Hill, I made friends there. So I, I don't want to imagine how empty my life would be or how different it would be without it.